Hey everyone, it's Gary Anderson here. How y'all doing? I hope you had a good week. Welcome to episode 30 of Gary E's Sketch Cards, where this week I'm drawing Tom Hanks playing Robert Langdon from the Da Vinci Code slash Angels and Demons movies. Now you might be asking yourself, why am I doing a Robert Langdon sketch card? Uh, well, because this is the third of three sketch cards dedicated to the films that Hans Zimmer has scored. Um, and on the tale of an announcement that he would be touring Europe and performing with an orchestra, uh, I again wanted to sort of petition Mr. Zimmer to consider coming to North America. Um, and this is my uh, third sketch card, again, dedicated to his movies and that. The other reason I did this card is uh, I've always wanted to do a Tom Hanks sketch card. Um, I tried uh, doing a sketch card of uh, Tom Hanks from Saving Private Ryan and was considering doing that for the tribute to our uh, U.S. military that I did a couple of weeks ago. But I, I guess I didn't want to trivialize, um, to sort of trivialize any kind of tribute to you know our armed forces. So uh, I instead decided to just come up with a uh, World War II soldier to sort of represent all the, uh, the military personnel. I didn't want to sort of commercialize and, you know, um, I don't know. I didn't want to commercialize, I guess, and trivialize, you know, Memorial Day. So uh, instead I figured that uh, because, again, Hans Zimmer uh, wrote the music for The Da Vinci Code and Angels and Demons that uh, I would do a Robert Langdon sketch card. So um, I hope you're digging it. Uh, I hope you're digging this series, by the way. Uh, I want to give a special shout out to everybody who's been watching the videos, who's been liking and commenting. Um, it helps me know that um, people are supportive of what I'm doing, which is nice, which is always nice. Um, if you like what you're seeing, hey, give it a share. Um, you know, find your favorite episode, share it with somebody. Uh, it doesn't have to be the, you know, the Robert Langdon sketch card. It can be any of the other episodes that are out there. Um and, uh, you know, I've been doing this for about six months now, and it's been a kind of mixed bag as far as responses go. Um, you know, it, it's it's one of those things where I sort of get it in my head that I want to do a particular piece, and I'll sort of follow the, the, the trend, whether people are watching it or not watching it and that. And, um, you know, some of them have been a hit, some of them have been misses, uh, Strangely enough, the Catwoman video that I did last week has gotten, you know, only a few hits, which I thank everybody who has looked at it. I do appreciate it. Um, it just, it hasn't gotten up into the double digits yet, which I don't know, kind of surprises me. I don't know if it's because it wasn't a sexy Catwoman or, you know, whatever. It was Anne Hathaway from The Dark Knight Rises. Uh, you know, eh, it, 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 it is what it is, I guess. But again, I do appreciate the support, uh, and I do apologize. I'm a little under the weather here, so I might be sniffing and coughing here a couple of times. But um, I do thank uh, everybody for your support and for your comments and that um, and basic overall support of the show and this channel. Uh, I do appreciate it. I also want to give a shout-out to uh, Brad Utterstrom for mentioning this show in his um, last video. Uh, he was kind of talking about uh, some shows that he watches, YouTube videos and that, and he brought mine up specifically and talked about it for a few minutes. Uh, Brad, I want to thank you for that, man. I do appreciate it. Um, and, uh, yeah, uh, you might want to check him out. I'll put a uh, link to his channel below, and uh, he's another... He's he's a, a uh, sketch card artist as well. Um, very talented guy. He's been doing this a lot longer than I have. And uh, like I said, I'll put the uh, link to his channel below. And uh, you, if you like this kind of thing that I'm doing here, check his out. His is like 10 times better. And I'm sure he would appreciate it if you subscribe to his channel and uh, commented on his videos as well. So uh, again, thanks, Brad. Uh, I'm sending a few people your way, man. So be ready. So for the art tip portion this week, uh, I sort of wanted to discuss a topic that I'm a little hesitant to talk about only because I've never really had to deal with it personally, but um, I know that if you want to, if you're considering being an artist um, by trade, um, there's a lot that needs to be considered, and one of the biggest things is working on a commission that you may or may not necessarily be 100% into. Um, I know there are times that, you know, stuff I want to draw on, like, you know, the sketch cards and other projects that I'm working on, you know, I'm 
really, you know, wanting to do, but there are days where even the stuff I do want to do kind of, you know, kind of has to take a back seat because, you know, I'm either kind of tired or just, you know, uh, just not feeling it at the moment. And my biggest struggle is getting past that is getting past the, if you will, the funk of, you know, I, yeah, I could spend an hour or so just getting in here and, you know, drawing something, uh, you know, working on something, but I'm just not feeling it right now, you know, and I think the key is to just sort of get in and do it. And, you know, before you know it, you kind of realize that, um, you know, you've gotten an hour in and, you know, you're, you're kind of back at that moment of, you know, excitement where you want to work on it. Um, one of the things to consider if you're going to do this professionally or, um, you know, just take commissions and that is that there are going to be times where you're going to be asked to draw or paint stuff that you just absolutely don't want to do. Or you just don't feel is in your wheelhouse or, you know, what have you, at which point, you know, you have to ask yourself, you know, am I going to be, is there going to be an ounce of passion at any point about this particular project? You know what I mean? If not, maybe I'm not the right person to ask for it. You know, um, again, like I said, I haven't had to deal with that personally. Um, you know, I, I don't want to step on anybody's toes as far as what they recommend, uh, as far as getting back into the rhythm of doing work that they don't want to do or, you know, doing a commission or whatever. But I just kind of wanted to bring that to the attention of anybody who's considering doing a professional, you know, graphic arts or anything like that, that there'll be times that you'll get projects that you don't want to do, you know, so be ready for that. With that, this is the Robert Langdon sketch card. Take care. Uh, if you like this video, please give me a like. Uh, leave a comment below. Uh, subscribe to my channel. Take care, and I will see you next week. Peace. Peace.